What's up YouTube? This is JC from Card Valor, and today I have a brand new deck profile for you guys, and that is Despia or Brandon. I have been testing this deck for quite some time now, it's about a couple months, but I have enjoyed it a lot. Versa Destiny made this deck really strong with cards like Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon, or Branded in Red. I will be updating this deck slowly and with its indirect support of Guardian Chimera, which is coming out in Battle of Chaos, this deck will get better. And then finally, we'll have Albaz Strike, which is a structure deck that is going to release in April. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the deck profile. Alright guys, before we begin the deck profile, we actually have some OCG tokens from the Albaz Strike structure deck. And here we are, we have a Luber in Secret Rare. A little glary, but it's the card sleeve that I put him in. Then we have our two stars of the story of the Albaz Abyss lore. We got Albaz and Ecclesia. Pick this up for about $10. And then we have the Tri Brigade members and Fleur de Lee and Ecclesia when they were still in the Dogmaticos. Alright, so those are the tokens. Next up, we have our main deck monsters for the Despia deck. All right, so I will be doing follow-up videos, so please like this video, comment, and subscribe, and ding the notification bell, more importantly, so I can do more videos, and I love doing these videos. I've only done four. This is my fifth one, and it's been such a fun time giving out these videos, but more importantly, I will be doing combo tutorials, test hands, and in-depth analysis on all the deck profiles I have for you guys. All right, we have Triple Aluber, our opener or starter for the deck. We play three of because we are playing this at Pure. Then we have Dramaturge and Adlib. Dramaturge is very sticky if you use him for fusions. And he is an uh, interaction with your opponent. And you have Adlib, which lets you special summon a Despia or a level 8 or higher fusion monster if it's used for a fusion. Alright, then we have Triple Despian Tragedy. Despian Tragedy is your extender for your discard effect cards or your Foolish Burial or your Gold Sark. Combos very well with a spell branded opening, which we will cover in a little bit. Alright, so we actually play the Albaz engine. I only play one Albaz because I only have a tiny engine in this deck. I only have one Albaz target. And Ecclesia is recurrable with our DP engine, which we do play in this deck. And we have a Frightfur package in this deck. It is my favorite variant out of all the variants out there in the Google. So, Edge of Chain. And we have our two bricks in the deck. Celestial and Dasher. And we have our one tech, Eldritch the Golden Lord, for removal of Floodgates, Mystic Mine, or just like pesky cards that you can't get rid of. And you have Branded Opening to open up our spells. No pun intended. Uh, yeah, so this this card will let you use your Edgem Chain as a discard fodder or your Tragedy. And it will be a simultaneous Chain Link trigger. Alright. And then we have Branded in Red. We play this at 3. And it's basically a fusion card. You target a Despi monster or an Albaz in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and then you can fusion summon a level 8 or higher fusion monster using your hand or field by banishing them. Then we have Double Despia Theater of the Branded. I ran it at one before, and it always got Cosmic Cyclone or MST'd, and I had a hard time getting it back, so I put it at two. Three is a little inconsistent in my opinion, so I played it at two. 
All right, so for our Fright for Spells, we have Fright for Patchwork. It lets us get our Edge of Chains and our Polymerizations from our deck. And we have two Polymerization. Three is a little bit too inconsistent. And Triple Fusion Destiny. I've bounced back between two or three on this deck, but three is good enough. You can always use it as a side target if you wanted. Then you have double super poly to get rid of uh, hard boards to crack. And then for our draw cards, since a lot of the monsters in this deck are dark attribute, we do play this so we can get some head advantage. And you can also use tragedy as a banish for the card for the effect, and you'll be able to use tragedy's effect. And now for our one ofs. We have Gold Sark, Foolish Burial, and Called by the Grave. All right, so that was our main deck. We didn't really have any hand traps because I think that you need a lot of gas to play through the hand traps as well. And hand traps just kind of clog your hand in my opinion. But if there were a card or cards to play for hand traps, it would be the Gamma Package. All right, so here's the extra deck. We got Triple Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. You can cut this down to one if you would like, but I played it at three so I can grind my opponent. And you have Despian Curtis and Despian Priskinian. Despian Priskinian is for your cute plays like stealing their DPE or the Dragoon that you just took down. And then you got Curtis, which is an interaction for cards like Apollosa. Then we have the one Albaz fusion, Albion the Branded Dragon. That card will let you fuse from hand, field, or graveyard after it's fusion summoned. And we have our DPE, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Very sticky and lets you get your Ecclesia on back to your hand. All right, so we have our super poly targets. We have Mud Dragon of the Swamp, Starving Venom, and Pride of Plants, Dragostapelia. All right, so we have our Xyz lineup, which is the no Numeron Dragon package. It's very strong after a follow-up play for your going first hand. Usually you get level eight really, really fast. And as long as you don't lock yourself out of uh, Xyz summoning or extra deck, because branded fusion or branded in red and branded opening does lock you out out of your extra deck just on fusion monsters. But right here, you have Draglubion, number 38, and number 100, Numeron Dragon. I did get this card to resolve on one of my remote duels on a locals, and my opponent just cried. All right, and then last but not least, we have Dingirsu, the Orcus of the Evening Star, for our tech technical plays for um recycling our masquerades because you can bring out the masquerades overlay into dingirsu and you won't have to banish your masquerades and last we have the link to predator plant the green noodle himself verte anaconda it allows us to play our polymerizations super poly and fusion destinies and that is our deck profile I will go ahead and show you guys my deck for the side deck. We have triple Droll and Lockbird, double Nibiru, sorry, and then we have triple Artifact Lancia, two Cosmic Cyclone, two There Can Be Only One, and triple Evenly Matched. Now I'm going to explain my reasoning on the next video for this deck for the side deck and everything else in the main deck as well so please stay tuned like this video ding the notification bell and have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the next one bye